On this Valentine's Day, we felt the wild wind gusts here on the valley floor. Find out how holiday celebrations were impacted. The penalty phase of the trial in the case of a Cathedral City man convicted of killing four people back in 2019. The testimony today from a former partner of Jose Laren Garcia, with a jury set to recommend whether he should get the death penalty. And a look ahead at what could be a contentious meeting for College of the Desert's Board of Trustees. Jeff Stahl investigates the battle being waged over plans for a Palm Springs campus. You're watching KESQ, the desert's news leader. This is News Channel 3, live at 11. Good evening, I'm Karen Devine. And I'm John White, and we have live First Alert team coverage tonight as a winter storm system moves through Southern California. News Channel 3, Samantha Lomibau is live on El Paseo with a look at how the blustery conditions impacted Valentine's Day celebrations. And we begin with First Alert meteorologist Kelly Moody and for Haley Clawson tonight, working from home tonight. Kelly, uh, what's the latest on these blustery conditions, all that wind and cold out there? We saw plenty of that wind. In fact, a wind gust so strong, it came in at 77 miles per hour for the Whitewater area. 65 mile per hour wind gust recorded for Desert Hot Springs, just north, or rather south of that in North Palm Springs. Uh, close to 60 mile per hour wind gusts at North Palm Springs and close to 50 mile per hour wind gusts recorded for Cathedral City and Thermal. A lot of wind out there definitely made a difference for any of those Valentine's Day plans. Right now, those wind gusts are still active for for sure, we've got 15 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts being recorded for plenty of valley cities. Those winds starting to change directions, eventually coming down from the north to bring us some cooler, drier air for the next couple of days. Get ready for that. Meanwhile, those winds continuing to push showers down to the south, still working with some flurries up in the high desert after seeing some of that snowfall accumulation earlier this evening. As we look ahead toward tomorrow, you can expect temperatures starting really cool 30s 40s eventually going to be warming up to the 60s but we got ways to go we'll be talking more about freeze morning in effect in the region coming up all right bundle up thank you kelly love is in the air but so was the dust wind and some rain on this valentine's day news channel 3 samantha lomibau joins us live from el paseo in palm desert where the weather impacted some restaurants on one of their busiest nights of the year sam Karen, that wind has died down, fortunately, but we saw those wind gusts all throughout the day and even a little Valentine's Day surprise with some rain, especially right here on El Paseo, where restaurants like the one behind me were forced to adapt to that winter weather. But fortunately, that rain did not put a damper on any dinner plans. Gusty winds and blowing trees as gray clouds loomed over El Paseo. Restaurants braced for the winter weather by closing up outdoor seating as people opted to eat inside for their Valentine's Day dinners. I mean, just taking advantage of the weather and the sunshine, but not today. <laughs> Visiting from Washington, D.C., Bonnie and Tom Miller tell me they saw the brunt of the winds firsthand. It was as bad as I've seen. There was uh, a lot of sand that was kicked up. But they tell me the gusty weather wouldn't stop them from enjoying the night together. It's no big deal. You know, we'll, we'll have a nice dinner inside. We like this restaurant a lot, and uh, we've been here before, and so we're cool. But it wasn't just gusty winds. The weather took a big turn when rain started to come down, forcing restaurants like Pacifica to shift operations on one of their busiest nights. We did have to close our outside patio on the backside. We don't want tables you know, uh, patio chairs, uh, linen flying everywhere. It, it just It's a precaution just for people's safety. Bartender Ivan Murray tells me they welcomed a full house with around 500 reservations, but says even the rain couldn't put a damper on their accommodations for the night. Actually, it didn't change the reservations quite as much as we thought, but we're able to accommodate everybody that had reservations, okay, so yeah. which is great. Now, fortunately, that rain has dwindled down, but if you are still out for those Valentine's Day celebrations, be sure not to drink and drive off for those Ubers, Lyft rides, taxi rides, and to slow down on the roads if you are driving. Live in Palm Desert, Samantha Mebow, News Channel 3.